Hello great learners welcome to grade 8 reasoning book and this is last chapter chapter number 11 that is dot situation. So once you learn how to solve the questions based on dot situations believe me you will learn to analyze data you will learn to understand the pattern and your decision making skills are going to improve but you need little practice. So come let's see the question over here we have a square one circle is there and one rectangle is there right and we need to just see that we have one dot in a square. Now looking from these options the first option can have one dot in only square then we come to the second dot and this second dot exists in the rectangle, in the circle as well as in the square. So here it won't be possible because we can't find any space which is the part of all three shapes. So we cancel it out. Similarly look at the C part. Here if you observe the figure can you find the space? of this image where all the three figures are having common area that is common area of square rectangle and triangle again a big no so we cross it coming to this figure again we don't have common part of intersection so we are left with only B option and in the B option we could see that if I put a dot here we got the area which is the part of all three figures right now further let's look at the second point this second point exists only in the square so we can place one point only in the square and this point exists only in the rectangle so again we can try one dot which exists only in the rectangle and this is the common part of square circle and rectangle that means you get B option as the correct option and the same method was followed by the students in the class and Dave and Zaina were able to resolve the given problem. Now what are the different categories of problems you will be coming across? We will first see that where actually the three dots exist and we will try to give the location to those dots in the given options and if we are able to locate the dots at the right position then we find the correct answer to the problem. Now let's come and try a few examples so that you become good at analysis of dot situations. So let's look at the first option we have dot in the triangle let's put a dot here in the triangle another dot comes in this triangle we put a dot in this triangle and we can put a dot in this triangle so this one is done let's look for this dot this dot exists between a square and a circle so if you look at this square and circle we can put the dot here here if you look at the square and circle we can put a dot here again here if you look at the square and circle we can put a dot here here also you can put a dot in the common part this is a square and this is a circle so this will come outside a triangle so now we are left with this dot and this dot exists in the triangle and a square but outside the circle. So outside the circle here we don't find triangle and square. So this option is omitted out. Coming to the next one again we observe that we need triangle and square together. So this is a triangle and this is a square but it is again coming inside the part of the circle so we will omit it out so this also cannot be the option so every time you have to remember that dot must exist between triangle and square but outside the circle 
let's look at the triangle this is a triangle over here and a square but outside the circle so we got it over here but again it's not possible here so so your right option is three got it so now come let's see more examples based on it here we have a question and you have different options you need to find out that which of these satisfy the given dot situations so coming at the first dot it exists only in the square so let's mark the squares here we have a square here we have the square at this location and square at this location the second dot exists only in the rectangle so mark it here mark it here mark it here and mark it here so third dot is here which exists in all the three figures we can place it here in the center but here we do not find the common part of all three shapes the same thing happens here and this is also omitted so your right option becomes a and we move further with more questions for you so following the same level of understanding you have to enhance your logical reasoning and find the dot locations and once you have analyzed that where all these three dots are getting satisfied that becomes your correct dot option and this way you can solve all the questions that I have brought for you believe me your little efforts and a little mental exercise is going to improve your concentration and become a borderline that will distinguish you from other children of your group so try to become a smarter child and do all these mental exercises with your own logic do not discuss with others just focus on what all situations are given and try to crack the correct answer trust me you are going to outshine for sure stay tuned for the next video